guitar talk on the track, that's enough. So whatever he does in the video is a plus. And I can't do any fancy stuff. I'm just going to stand there and just play the notes that I played on the record. On the record? I can't dance or anything like that. So there won't be any of that Michael Jackson stuff, you know, and that spinning around. <laughs> Jeff Beck. Jeff played the solo on the on the track, as you know, and he's going to play the solo on the video. And it'll be the first time we've worked together since uh, 1968, when we had the Jeff Beck group together. So looking forward to seeing him this evening. He owes me five pounds too. <laughs> MTV, please. I'm just going to adjust my hair now, then continue with the performance, okay? Shh. Really? How, how old are you guys then? Uh, 20, you know, early 20s, I think. We heard that the first time you guys played the Fillmore with Jeff Beck, you sang the first song from backstage. What, well, he'd be on Wimps. And it was our first, um, with the Jeff Beck group, it was our first American appearance. And we were first on the bill, Grateful Dead were topping the bill. And we were really scared. We were really scared. And I suffered from stage fright. So my voice just caved out, so I ran behind the amps and sang from there, you know. And when I heard the applause of the audience, so that was okay. Then I ran back out front and started singing. It's really good. Joining the Jeff Beck group was really your first big break. How did you meet Jeff? It's about, I would say it was about 1967, 66. Um, Jeff had left the Yardbirds. He, well, actually, I think he got fired for non-appearance a few times with the Yardbirds. That's something people don't know. I'd been fired from the group I was in, and the group Woody was in, the birds, they'd fallen apart the seams. And so basically, we were all unemployed. Oh, he was lurking in this club one night, and uh, I think we were the last two people. <laughs> <laughs> I came up and said, are you a taxi driver? And you said, may I play the guitar? And you said to me, are you a bouncer? No, I said, no, I'm a singer. His elbow was sliding forward like that. I thought, well, I'll catch him just before it slips off the end of the table. And uh, no, it was great. I'd, we met up in a club. We'd known it's him. We'd known William, him. Wasn't it? Yeah, there's a London club where all sorts of things go on at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like Ron Wood was there, for instance. Yeah. No, I, I had to find a vocalist from somewhere. I thought, well, I might as well get the best first. You know what I mean? Not a bad choice, old boy. Yeah. yeah. Must be under two. Oh, truth. Um, you bet. Me Thirty-three right. pounds, four and sixpence. <laughs> no, exactly. it, was, it was about, it was under, it was under 30,000 quid. So it was right. a joke, you know. Which is about 70,000 dollars. <laughs> we didn't even pay the bill, we just ran out without paying. Yeah. <laughs> we, did it, we did it in a week, you know, if everybody, anybody remembers that album, uh, True. We, we did it in a week, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, studio time was, was expensive for us even then, you know. We didn't, I, I, I couldn't afford to pay him. He sold and ran away and all that stuff. So did one more. I never got paid either. <laughs> No. Yeah, that was Abbey Road. We did it at Abbey Road. I enjoyed Road. that. No, That's yeah. probably the most enjoyable time of my life, actually, making that first album. You know? Yeah, it was good. It was good. It's like, we've already been on the road for 18 months with that material. Just went straight in the studio. That's it. 
Oh, it's easy. In That's the way to make a record. You don't hang around for six months making a record. Do you? If you've well, got you, the idea, you, you go... You made six albums in 15 years, <laughs> you should know. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real strong.